what up y'all so it is December 14th it is about 8 45 I slept in which is good I need that sleep um, for you know what we're we're trying to do here which is grow so uh, first thing in the morning what I do is I get up and I do my cardio I have a treadmill here in the in the uh, garage you see all the gym equipment behind me uh, but yeah, so it's a treadmill. Uh, jump on the treadmill. I'll do right now. I was at 40 minutes of fasted in the morning. Um, uh, but now uh, we're starting to taper things down because, you know, uh, we're going into more of a growth phase. And really, we're going to keep cardio in, but not really high. Um, right now, I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio. So my coach bumped it down. And, uh, you know, Cardio is good to keep in, you know, it's good for, you know, your cardiovascular system, keep the heart healthy, uh, keep the blood pumping, and it also, you know, it helps stave off any uh, unwanted fat gain uh, as you move into a bulk. The purpose of a bulk is not to get fat. You know, if you have it, if there's any kind of gym bros out there, any meathead gym dudes, even professional pros out there that say you just need to eat and eat and eat and eat and don't worry about getting fat. You could tell them to squash that stupid shit. Um, you shouldn't worry about, you shouldn't worry about getting fat, but you shouldn't bring it on, to be honest with you. Um, and, you know, that partly comes into to do, you know, that it has to do with your diet as well. Making sure you're controlling your diet, you're not eating a, a bunch of bullshit. Um, because really, there's no difference from a bulk phase to a cutting phase. It really isn't. The only difference is the amount of food you eat. So in a bulk phase, you should be eating the same food you're eating in a cutting phase, just a little bit more. That's all it is. It's not eating pizza and burgers and fucking burritos and donuts and shit like that. It's not what it is at all. So um, now that I've harped on that <laughs> for a good minute. I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio. Uh, I put the stair mat, the stair, uh, not stair, um, but um, the treadmill uh, on a level of 10, and I walk at about a 3.7 speed. That gets my heart rate up above 120. So that's exactly where I want to be. So where you you need to be. Um, always try to get your heart rate above 120. It's that fat burning zone. So I'm gonna do this for 30 minutes. I am sipping on. Uh, Primeval Labs, uh, their EAA Max formula. So check that out. The link is in the description below. Some of the best uh, essential amino acid, uh, you know, complex that I've ever had. So uh, yeah, let me get that going. Then I'm going to show you what uh, mill number one looks like. All right, y'all. So uh, here's mill number one. We have three whole eggs here and 10 ounces of egg whites. I have some uh, one cup of spinach some chopped up mushrooms and onions in there. Um, and then we have 75 grams of oats. Of course, got the coffee. I wanna show you guys the uh, essential amino acid formula I was drinking earlier. This is uh, by Prime Evil Labs. It's their EAA Max formula. This uh, Smashberry is off the fucking chain. So it's absolutely delicious. I can put this in my water, as you see, and just sip this all day. So. Uh, highly suggest going out uh, and checking out Primeval Labs. I'll put the link in the description below uh, with a little discount code. You guys can grab uh, everything you need from Primeval Labs. And also, uh, my Healthline supplement, I use Revive. So I take one scoop of Revive Daily Greens every day. Prebiotic and probiotics, everything is a macro dose. Nothing is micro anything, right? No fillers, no bullshit in there. So. This is all good stuff right here. Um, but yeah, you gotta get your, your daily greens in if you don't eat enough greens throughout the day. Um, I eat plenty of greens throughout the day, but I always wanna make sure I'm getting all my essential micronutrients. So uh, I'll put a link in the description below as well as a, another discount code so you can grab uh, your uh, health supplements, uh, your daily health supplements from Revive. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get going here, get this breakfast going. Uh, do a little bit of work and I'll show you guys what mill number two looks Okay, y'all so I'm just relaxing right now. I just uh, prepared mill two. show y'all what that looks like here So this is 
seven ounces of chicken, uh, 127 grams of white jasmine rice, got a handful of uh, baby spring mix lettuce in there, tablespoon of pico de gallo, and one and a half ounces of uh, avocado um, and some sriracha. So uh, that's gonna be meal number two. Um, probably hit the gym maybe around three o'clock today. Uh, I'll be able to get in another meal, my pre-workout meal, show you what that's about. Um, but other than that, I just kind of wanted to go over some um, some of the focuses for me uh, in this off season, right? So um, I didn't, I wasn't able to get any critiques from uh, the universe, uh, from any other judges. Um, I guess I was kind of, you know, when you. <laughs> When you attain your pro card, at least for me, it was a bit of a shell shock. I, I forgot a lot of the things that I really was meaning to go there to do, which was get critiques from judges on what I should work on, what should be better. But you know, when you know I won my class, you know, winning my pro card, um, it's amazing how it just it flies out of your head, you know. So, which is all right. Um, my coach is pretty well seasoned. And uh, he's got a very large roster of athletes, so he knows what to look for. Um, and he, his mind and his eyes are attuned to you know what judges are looking for, even on a, an Olympia stage. So um, because he's got multiple athletes in the Olympia this year and previous years, previous years, so um, he he thinks we'll be better, we'll be able to compete better. Uh, if I bring up my chest, so we'll be more competitive. I gotta bring out some thickness in my chest, um, and uh, you know, for me personally, I want to bring up some thickness in my back as well, and I uh, just want a little bit more cap on my shoulders. So, but overall, it's the chest. I need to bring that out more. Um, so, uh, that's really those are going to be the focus on the on this. Uh, this off season, so um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And you know, um, I think with a lot of people, especially who are new, newer to um, you know competing and you know trying to bring up their physique and anything like that, just general gym people, they they make things way harder than it needs to be um, as far as growing. Um, all you need to grow is to eat more to sleep more and to lift and you'll see results right so um hopefully through this you know me recording and uh you know showing you guys what steps i'm taking to to get there um i'll be able to break down the diet as far as things you want to do and things you don't want to do uh to grow optimally uh, and as, as fast as possible so um but yeah that's what i'm gonna do here uh, I got my gallon going. I'm doing two gallons of water today um, still, so that's really not going to change either. So it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing as, uh, you know, the prep diet, you know, up to a show. So just a little bit more of the food. So, uh, yeah, that's how I'm going to get going. Um, I'm going to tune in with you guys, show you what the uh, the pre-workout meal is, and uh, hopefully I'll try to get a few shots of uh, what, what I'm doing in the gym. Uh, today is chest day, so I'll show you a few of the things, um, a few of the techniques that I'm going to try to start to implement to uh, try and bring up my chest a little bit more. Cool. All right, people. So this is the pre-workout meal going down. I have 35 grams of cream of rice here, uh, two scoops of Primeval Labs Isolit uh, protein powder. I think it's this is the like the caramel macchiato flavor. And uh, what you see that I have in here is 16 grams of all-natural peanut butter and one tablespoon of PB2 um, in there. So it kind of gives it like a caramelly peanut butter chocolatey kind of taste. It's really, really good. So I love it. It's one of my favorite meals of the day. And also I have two rice cakes, the chocolate flavor rice cakes. Um, and... With my pre-workout, I, I take a GDA supplement. Um, excuse the uh, the calluses on the hands; they're horrible. But uh, yeah, 
take a GDA uh, disposal agent, glucose disposal agent, just you know, help my body break down those carbs um, and use them efficiently uh, for my workout. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this in, and then we're gonna go to the ch the uh, gym and hit some chest, and uh, show you guys what I do there. Okay, dope. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this workout before I get into it. Um, I'm gonna try to incorporate a few different things to uh, increase the intensity uh, of my workouts, especially uh, on chest day. Right now, the the, uh, the split looks like this. It's push, pull, legs. Uh, on a push day, I'm doing chest, shoulders, and triceps. On a pull day, I'm doing back and biceps. And then uh, on the legs day, I'm doing legs, right? So quads and hams. I'm not gonna split those up. I'm trying to hit quads while my legs twice a week, so I have to find another day within the week to fit that second de leg day in. But um, when we get there, we'll talk about that. But um, I'm usually a very high volume work, you know, I work out very high volume. So I'm gonna try to back off the volume because one thing that I'm learning is that uh, rest days and allowing your body to, to heal and rest up that's very very important and sometimes when you work out you know at a higher volume it inhibits that so um what i'm going to do is uh back off on the volume on, on my work uh workouts especially with chest and try to just incorporate some uh, intensified intensifying techniques like top sets uh some back off sets um some rest pauses things like that um, but um, yeah that, that's what I'm gonna do for chest um, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm starting off here on the uh, on the pec deck uh, just to kind of get some blood into the chest first uh, warm it up a little bit and then uh, we'll move on to some of the heavier compound movements I think uh, we'll do like a, an incline Smith machine uh, where I can load some weight on there do a few warm-up sets and then get to my top working set as heavy as I can go and then do a back off set um, and that'll be it so let me show you guys uh, this first like this warm-up with these uh, with the pec deck So on those uh, pec deck flies, uh, I did about seven sets, um, progressively increasing the weight as I went up, right? So, and you know, as I went up, you know, progressing my sets, the reps dropped off, right? I started out at about 15 um, reps. And by my seventh set, I was at about eight. So, yeah, um, did that. Got, got the chest pretty warmed up, uh, nice and full of blood. So now we're gonna move on to um, the actual, uh, we're gonna do this iso incline uh, press. It looks like uh, the, um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the squat machines that I wanted to, to press is on uh, are taken. So um, yeah, we're just gonna do this, uh, this ISO uh, chest press machine, the incline press machine. And uh, still basic principle, I'm gonna do a few warm up sets, maybe four warm up sets. When I say warm up sets, it's not like lightweight. It's gonna be heavyweight. But uh, I'm gonna be aiming for about 15 reps on those warm up sets. And when I get to my top set, that's gonna maybe be five reps. 
and then I'll do a back offset where I'll drop the weight about 40% and uh, do as many as I can, so a burnout set. Um, so all together, um, I'll be doing around six sets. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here uh, in just one second. So what you saw in the previous clip was uh, dumbbell presses. I'm gonna be adding dumbbell presses into every chest workout because I never used to do dumbbell presses. And so, that's real bad, I know. But uh, when you're doing those dumbbell presses, that gets those stabilizer muscles working. And that's one move that I'm very, very, very weak on. So the old adage, whatever's the hardest for you to do is probably the best for you to do. So. I'm dedicating myself to uh, including those dumbbell presses in every chest workout. Uh, we're gonna start pressing some heavy weight. So, um, what I'm gonna do here is now a machine chest press. I'm going to do a triple drop set on uh, this uh, machine. I'll do four sets of that. Um, and really the last drop, it's just gonna be a burnout set. So this is really just to tax the muscle, absolutely spin that chest. So. Uh, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a second.
Okay, y'all, so <clears throat> I had to stop uh, filming in the gym. It got way too crowded, but uh, we got all the chest content in there. Um, but uh, we're done with the gym. I'm back here eating our post-workout meal. This is seven ounces of uh, ground beef. Uh, it's a 93.7 cut, 127 grams of white jasmine rice. Uh, I have about three ounces of um, Brussels sprouts in here and 50 grams of asparagus. Put a little bit of a uh, sea salt on there and boom, that is the post-workout. Uh, yeah, so uh, after this, I have two more meals going and I'll show you guys what those look like as well. Okay, y'all, so the last two meals of the day are gonna be uh, seven ounces of chicken and 127 grams of white jasmine rice and then seven ounces of tilapia and 127 grams of white jasmine rice. So those are gonna be the last two meals of the day. Um, not too exciting, I don't think I need to show you guys that. You guys know what chicken and fish looks like with white rice, so. Yeah, that's a full day eating for you guys. Two gallons of water a day. Um, yeah, so. Um, I'm gonna try and make these videos a little bit more consistent. Um, Get into some other things, uh, you know, about uh, competing and prepping and um, being a bodybuilder. Uh, some of the things that can't that come will come my way uh, now that I'm in the pro league. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the overall, you know, gleaming purpose of this entire, you know, series, I guess you can call it, um, would be just to show you guys what it's like. Uh, at the beginning of a growth phase um, all the way up until it's time to start cutting down until uh, I make that decision my coach makes that decision that uh, we've been growing long enough and it's time to uh, start to peel back some of those layers to see uh, exactly what we put on as far as lean muscle goes so um, yeah hang with me hit that subscribe button hit the like button and uh you know leave comments below for anything you want to see any questions that you have and i'll definitely be able to uh, make sure that i answer those so um but yeah that's gonna be a wrap for the video thanks for checking it out i'll see you guys on the next one